God wants to do so much in your life in this particular season you've gotten into. And it is important for you to know how beneficial it is to serve God, regardless of what's going on in your life. Because if you do not have reasons to serve him, you may not anchor to God fully in the seasons that look quite tough in your life. My name is Vera. This is Active Potentials. You want to discover your life assignment and manifest it fully. Be sure to click on that subscribe button. It's at the lower right hand of your screen. Just click on that button and you're going to be a part of this channel. Turn on the notification bell so you always get updates. Okay? It's amazing to always read what God is saying in the scriptures together. So this is what God is saying. You're going to see this just when he knows you're ready for it. Praise God. This psalm here explains the benefit of serving God, the benefit of you looking up to God and serving him with everything you have, regardless of when, what season. Praise God. Let's go. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Praise God. I love this particular one because it says, and forget not all his benefits. It means there are a lot of benefits that comes with you serving the Lord. Bless the Lord here. It talks about you regarding the Lord and serving him. Praise God. Hallelujah. And there are a lot of benefits. You're going to see it. Praise God. Verse 3 says, who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? There's nobody who forgives your iniquities and heals your diseases like God would. Verse 4, it says, Who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thy, the, uh, thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. He redeems you from destructions and crowns you with loving kindness. Who does this? God. These are benefits of serving God. Benefits of trusting in him. Benefits of having him as your redeemer. Verse 5, it says, Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that you thy you thy youth is renewed like the eagles praise god hallelujah i want you to personalize the scriptures because it is it is not just a scripture but it's a prophecy unto self you begin to personalize it it says who satisfies so you, when I, when we read you're going to say who satisfies my mouth with good things so that my mouth is my youth is renewed like Eagles, praise God, hallelujah. I think let's keep reading together. It says, the Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Praise God. You're feeling oppressed? The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. It's a benefit of serving the Lord. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Meaning when you serve him, he's going to make known to you his ways. Let's come here, verse 8 says, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Gracious God. This is amazing. The Lord is beautiful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. This is the God you serve. This is the benefit of you serving him. Verses 9. He will not always shine. He will, he will not always shine. Neither will he keep his anger forever. God does not keep his anger for you forever. Someone may not be happy with you and be angry with you forever, but God would not do so to you. This is the benefit of serving the Lord. Verse 10, he says, he had not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. So as a matter of fact, he's so merciful that he will not deal with you according to your sins. This is what a loving and forgiving God. He says, Forgive, for, forget all, not all his benefits. Down here, that's what the scripture says, right? And here he says, he has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Verse 11, he says, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards us that fear him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 12, he says, as far as, as far as east is, from the west, so far had he removed our transgressions from us. Can you imagine that? 
Can you imagine that word of fulfilling scripture? Verse 13, it says, Like as a father pitied his children, so the Lord pitied them that fear him. Praise God. So do you fear the Lord? He pities you. He pities you. You see, life is full of a lot of calamities on its own. So God will not punish you more for things that you found yourself in, or things that, that, that you fell into temptation with. But he pities you and tries to raise you up and bring you up. Praise God. Verse 14, he says, For he knoweth our frame. He remembered that we are dust. He, know, he knows our composition. He knows how he formed us. The Bible says he formed us in the undermost part of the earth with fear and trembling. Fearfully, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, how amazing. I feel so much peace in my heart reading this. I don't know about you. Praise God. Verse 15, he says, as for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field. So he nourishes it. He nourishes you because he knows how you are made up. He knows how your composition. Verse 16, it says, For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. Praise God. Hallelujah. Upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his com commandments to do them. The Lord had prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruled over all. Praise God. He's talking about the sovereignty of God. Now, verse 20 says, Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, Hearkening unto the voice of his word. Verse 21. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his host, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Verse 22. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise God. How is this scripture beneficial to you and with the context of this channel, Active Potentials? You see, to fulfill your life assignment, you need to have a full grip and full knowledge of which God you serve. As the trees are deeply rooted to the soil, so are we supposed to be deeply rooted in God in order to suck out the nutrients that we need for our nourishment. And you cannot fully utilize or fully take up the benefits that are in God if you do not even know the benefits. So this right here has poured out many benefits that you get being a child of God and fully connected to you honoring him and blessing him praise god hallelujah so this is just coming in just when you need it and i know that god is turning things around for you for your good in jesus name you are blessed you are blessed on every side you are blessed on every level blessed be the name of the lord you are so blessed in jesus name don't worry about anything as long as you're serving the lord these benefits will be your dailiness i love you all so much and i pray father god thank you for everyone who viewed to this point lord as they continually serve you forget not all your benefits that you give pour it into their lives like rain in jesus name amen amen Amen. God bless you. I love you so much. Please do not forget the subscribe button. Let me be your partner to lead you on in destiny. God bless you. Shalom.